hi everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you all and how to make curry mushroom step by step it's going to be super delicious and so flavorful please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do share thank you all so much in advance stay tuned so in my glass bowl right here i've got at least 350 gram of my mushroom and these are the mushroom that I'm using. You can use any mushroom to your liking. And I also have some scallion, at least over one stalk, three to four cloves of my garlic, two teaspoons of my fresh thyme, one teaspoon of my fresh ginger, and I'm also gonna add some pepper. You can also use chili pepper, okay? I'm using scotch bonnet pepper, but if you don't have that, you can use chili pepper, okay? Or just leave out the pepper yes you only need a little bit not a lot and i also have half of my potato that i cut this is how i cut it and at least one small onion one small carrot that i cut also sweet pepper i have the green and the orange and this is off and this is my curry powder one tablespoon of my curry powder and these are my seasoning. Here I have two teaspoons of my all-purpose seasoning, two teaspoons of black pepper, over one teaspoon of my garlic powder, and complete seasoning, which is two teaspoons. Okay? If you don't have all the seasoning that I'm using, you can use any seasoning to your liking. And I'm also gonna add a vegetable cube. Yes. So this is totally optional, but I'm going to add a 1 teaspoon of my pimento seed, otherwise as all spice. Yes, you can get them from any shop, even Carib your, Car your local Caribbean shop, or even your African shop, your supermarket, or even online. But it is totally optional, but I normally add it whenever I'm cooking, especially stew, whether I'm cooking brown stew, or I'm cooking curry. I normally add it but if you don't have it it is totally optional okay yes food will still be delicious yes <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut my mushroom and just remove the top part just cut it in two like so I like mushroom because it is pretty healthy. It don't have a lot of calories. So my mushroom is all cut. So I'm just gonna put it to my bowl. Then I'm also going to give them a good wash. So my mushroom is nice and washed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add just a little bit of my salt onto my mushroom. Yeah, at least half teaspoon. Then I'm going to slightly add some seasoning. Not everything. Let's shake it up a little bit. Yeah, like this. Going to leave back a little bit. Then I'm also going to add just slightly add a little bit of my curry powder also gonna leave back a little bit for my gravy add a little bit of oil gonna toss it around but just make sure that all the seasoning go onto the mushroom yeah so that's done nice and coated with all the seasoning 
so guys as you can see my pot is on my stove so to my pot I'm gonna add at least two tablespoons of my oil just gonna allow it to eat up yeah so to my pot I'm gonna firstly add my onions and my garlic my ginger and my pepper Gonna leave it to saute for at least 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds, I'm gonna add uh, some of my curry powder. Yeah, like that. I add at least over two teaspoons. Just gonna leave it for at least. 15 seconds then I'm gonna add my potato carrot sweet pepper it smells so good I'm going to leave it for at least 30 seconds. So just after 30 seconds, I'm going to add my mushroom. I'm going to allow it to stir fry for at least three minutes So this is what it looks like after three minutes. Absolutely delicious. So to my bowl that I use to season my mushroom, I'm gonna add at least over two and a half cups of water. Then I'm also gonna add my vegetable stock. Give it a stir. I'm going to add it to my pot. So now that I add my water, I'm going to add my scallion and my thyme. And you can taste it to your liking. If you need any salt, you can always add. It smells so good. I'm going to add all my remaining seasoning and all my remaining curry powder and I'm gonna leave it for at least 15 minutes cover it up put my stove on a medium to I eat so my curry mushroom been cooking for 10 minutes it is not yet finished it still have another five minutes so let's see how it look absolutely delicious it looks so good perfect look at that this is so mouth watering and it smells so good Yeah, I'm going to cover it up back for five minutes, okay? 
for this time I'm gonna put my stove on a medium heat So my curry mushroom is all finished. Then I remove the lid. The gravy is nice and thick. Just the way I like it. You can just turn your stove off. So guys, as you can see, I'm just splitting it all out. I'm telling you, it came out perfect. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do share it. I'm just adding some scallion spring onion just for presentation. You can serve it with some white rice, anything of your choice. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye and do enjoy. Yum.